Hello, this is Jason with LMGI with another video for NX Starts Lists. Uh, previously, we created a uh, parts list here. I've gone ahead and tweaked some settings in my preferences so that it comes out exactly the way I want on initial placement. And I'm going to select it in the upper left corner so it's all highlighted and then I'm going to right click edit levels so edit levels uh, gives you control over what is displayed in the parts list you're going to want to work with your assembly navigator tab uh, the first uh, button allows you to you know select um, just the items that you wanted so you see if I, you can be very selective as to what shows up. Or um, you could use the master model option. Now that's, it's all documented pretty well in the help. Though you might have to kind of poke, poke the buttons uh, and just experiment. The icons actually do a good job. The master model uh, it eliminates the immediate child directly in the master model. Top level or leaves. Uh, so maybe you want uh, top level uh, only. So you see some of these are they have like a toggle. It's a push button. So in this case, maybe we want just the the top and the assembly. So we'll accept that, and then. Take a look at sheet two, place another parts list here, and edit that with the levels. And in this case, maybe we want to see uh, leaves only without the um, without the top or only, so we only want the details in that sub assembly. There we go. And then we should be able to balloon that. Uh, ballooning didn't really didn't really like that ballooning too much. Uh, remember. The ballooning can be changed here. Um, actually, sometimes I like to hit the settings first. And in the parts list, um, we actually don't want we want none for the reference. So I want call out and quantity. That looks pretty good. It's a little better, and of course you can you can adjust these balloons uh, to suit your needs. There you go. Just a quick little follow-up video for NX parts lists and controlling um, the levels. And something you may want to look at. Um, using a standard installation of NX, it may not allow you to create that secondary parts list. There's actually an environment variable you can set. Um, if you search on this, it will tell you this variable if you try to create another parts list with this set to one. Um, you can set that to zero if you do want multiple sheets. Uh, so this is kind of per drawing. So one parts list per drawing. If you have, if you want multiple parts lists uh, per drawing, then you would uh, want to set this to zero. And I've done that in my um, my ENV DAT. You can see the path. Uh, I think you can probably see that path. If I hover with a tooltip, and you can see I've set that. That file is probably um, read only. It's standard environment variables in NX. Uh, so there you have it. Parts list control in